Hello everybody. Today's June 17th. My wife and I drove to North Platte, Nebraska today to get fitted in for my leg for the first time that he had cast it a week ago. And about halfway through the morning I realized that I did not bring my left shoe to be able to fit my new foot into and make sure that we were the right height. I was told to bring a shoe. I've watched other videos and knew that I needed to bring a shoe, but <clears throat> whatever it was this morning of getting out and about, getting around, not having my coffee, whatever the case may be, I realized I did not have my left shoe. So I called a friend of mine that lives down in North Platte and asked him if he would uh, take the time out of his day to go get me a new pair of shoes, which he did. And so I met with him and got the new shoe and got into the appointment. And right away we tried to fit my new boot over my stump and realized right away that maybe from the, the drive down there or the compressor shock wasn't tight enough, but there was definitely a lot of swelling and it was not fitting into the boot that he had casted. So we pushed four, five, six times and he went back, tried to heat it up with a heat gun and and I'd push back into it and try to change the shape a little bit until it cooled off and we'd do that time and time again and finally I got into it enough to where I could click into it and know that I was secure but by the time that I had gotten that far um, I was very tender, sore, <coughs> um, I don't know if it was pull the muscle or if it was just tender from not waiting long enough from the surgery, but he had a couple tricks up his sleeve and we tried a few different things. And, one of which was to cut a, um, a window in or a viewing window to where once I got down into it, my calf would kind of push out that window instead of being so tight in the boot itself. And by the time all said and done, he just, he wasn't real happy with what it had come out to look like and the way that I was feeling in it and the way I was walking in it. So we kind of talked about our options and, and he thinks he's going to have me come back next Tuesday and he will recast my stump. He's got me in a new compression, a different style of compression. It's more like um, neoprene waders in thickness and in feel but the time that I walked in there and the time that he remeasured I had already changed about an inch and a quarter in circumference around the midsection of my stump so we talked about you know, staying off of that eye walk that has ultimately been great about helping me get out and about, getting me around instead of crutches. But with this new compression, he wants me to stay off of that eye walk as much as possible. And just simply because the eye walk has straps and when you strap down, you want it tight enough or secure enough 
that you're not gonna trip or the leg come out from underneath you and that's causing a hourglass shape to my leg. So I've made the commitment to stand on crutches between now and the 28th of June, which is when I will actually step back in my boot for the next time. And hopefully I remember my tennis shoes that time. But while we were walking out of the appointment, we realized that right next to where we had got casted, is a brewing company called Peg Leg Brewing. So if you're ever down around the North Platte area, I recommend you stop in and try their brewing of beers. And they have some t-shirts and different things in there and really nice establishment and nice people to talk to. So we stopped in and we bought ourselves a couple t-shirts. Thought that was kind of fitting. So the day didn't go quite as well as we'd hoped it would as far as getting a leg and and starting this journey but this is all part of it you know we're we're on the right track we just weren't quite as far along as we thought we were or could be and still get going so we'll give it a little more time here and keep your head up keep looking forward Hopefully by the next time I'm not in as much pain as I was today trying to step into that and we can show you all what it looks like and and show you the first few steps I'm going to take with it. So thank you everybody for watching this. Please subscribe to my channel. Keep in tune with us. God bless everybody and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.